So this woman had been 86 from one of the bars, mm. and she was really only a regular there. Um, and she was 86 on a night that I was working because she was like playing with someone's hair, and and also she's she's German, and apparently she was like talking about like Germany's like Nazi history and like making people uncomfortable. I wasn't like present for this Whoa. conversation, Yikes, but like dude. my coworker was like, she's got to go, she's got to be 86, and I was like, I wholeheartedly support this. And even like when we like told her she had to leave, I remember her like looking at me like just like acting like it was like my fault and i'm like i've been on the other end of the bar this whole time like you've been like you've been like weirding people out like this had nothing to do with me anyway so she's 86 and then a couple weeks later i'm at the other bar and i like step away from the bar for like a minute or two i I just like want to sit down for a second because like you know we need a fucking break everyone you know yeah and i come back and i see that she's sitting at the bar and it's like 3 30 a.m and i say to my coworker eric i'm like oh my god She's eighty. She's eighty six from the other place, and he's like, "All right, well, let's just like, it's just gonna make things worse if we like take her drink away now and tell her she has to go. Like she's already it's too paid. Late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. let's just hope that we can end the night with nothing happening, which like, of course, did not happen. So it gets to be like four a.m. She still has like half a glass of wine left. She's talking to these like other people. The bouncer, Joe, he like wants to get the fuck out of there and he's Classic like Classic bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> and he like takes the like she's like away from her glass and he takes it and he's like, I'm gonna pour this out. And I'm like, don't do that. She's gonna think it was me. He's like, No, she won't. It's four AM. I'm pouring this out. I'm like, Joe, you don't understand. We have a backstory. <laughs> and she had made eyes with me. She even like made a face like shh, don't tell. Old German lady? Yeah, That's or so young uh, young German oh, okay. lady. Okay. Or oh. no, I shouldn't say uh, All right. yeah. I'm mid. like, I know. Yeah. I know who you're talking about, maybe. Yeah, I I I have her, is I she have her headshot on my phone because she Yes, she is blonde. I think I know who she Wait, is. Wait, you know this other this as a customer? Wait, we have to figure we'll this talk out. After. We'll talk about yeah. it later. Yeah. Okay. Um so basically so like he pours the fucking wine out and like she had acknowledged me like she knew me from the other bar of course and she had like made a look to me like shh don't tell them that I'm 86 and I was just like oh god that had happened like when she first got there um so he pours the drink out she turns around sees that it's gone and starts losing her shit she's like (gasps) she was like you did this give me back my wine I'm like I did not pour this out. And they're like, it's 4 a.m. You got to get the hell out of here anyway. She's like screaming. He's like, Joe is like managing to like get her out the door. And she's like yelling. He finally gets her out the door, shuts the door on her. She starts kicking it with her heel and it's glass. (laughs) So he's like, fuck. So he opens the door, but he's like blocking her from coming in. And she's screaming. She's like, that woman, that comedian, she thinks she's a comedian, (laughs) but she's nothing. You're nothing. (laughs) I know, I know I'm nothing. <laughs> I've already given up on my dreams. Like, don't even need... And, like, we call the cops. The neighborhood's, like, waking up. We get, like, two phone calls. They're like, you have a crazy woman outside, like, screaming. I'm like, we know. So everyone on that block got to hear about my, like, failing comedy career. Oh, man, that is so funny. And she yelled about us. In, like, a German accent. Oh, my yeah, God. She she yelped, and I did screenshot, because I knew that I wanted to tell this... Um, uh, Long story short, I'm not going to read the whole Yelp, but like in the middle of it, well, it starts with like wannabe coyote ugly type of bar, but without the bras and simply just ugly bartenders. Oh, shit. oh how we miss hogs and heifers. Like, and then she goes on and on and on. And then at one point she's like, mostly they are frustrated and failing comedians, musicians, models, etc. We have no oh, models ever at God. the bar. And she just said ugly. Yeah, oh, I man. know. I love just like a, the idea of a German woman just like, you're Nossing Weinberg. Yes. <laughs> You'll never be Nossing Weinberg. <laughs> just getting dragged out the window. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, oh, my like ultra Jewish last name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh that, my god, that I think was like the craziest. <laughs> that was up there as the cra- like that was my number one craziest yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. I have like a crazy story that's like also sad, but like still funny. <laughs> There's a super old dude named Dennis that used to come to a bar I worked at for for years. I mean, when I say super old, I mean, like, he was, like, hunched over. He had, like, little turtle hands, like, really hard, gnarled fingers. Would try to, like, touch people, like, touch the girls that worked there and whisper, oh like, we- random gross shit in their ears about coming home with him and stuff. Oh and he was, like, cute and tiny, too. 
And he would always order absolute Courant. <laughs> and then he would he would always like when we would close him out, he'd be like, I have money in here somewhere and pull out like like horse racing tickets from the 70s. Oh, my. Off he lived across thing. the street, but he would get a car service to pick him up and bring him across the street. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like I've, ha- I've had customers. Um, and he was too little to like get up on a bar stool. So he would sit on um, empty beer kegs yeah. in the corner and there was like one Thursday night I was working with another female bartender and he was just like he just made us uncomfortable he smelled like dialysis like it was not like he was not a well man either yeah. and I, we felt uncomfortable serving him but anyway like he came in he was sitting in the corner on a, on a ke- empty keg and all of a sudden I smelled something oh no and he had oh. shit <gasps> oh. his pants Oh God! On the beer keg, and my coworker was walking towards him, and I was like, "No!" Oh. And she stepped on his poop. Oh, oh no! God. Yeah, it was so. Horrible. 